Welcome to Medical Apps PDS Express. In today's class, we'll be discussing this anatomy question. Question was asked in the year 2024 and it was a kind of clinical question. Now, the question was, after undergoing surgery in the neck region, a patient reports shoulder dropping. Which nerve is likely to have been damaged during the surgery? Options given were option A, spinal accessory nerve. Option B was hypoglossal nerve. Option C was dorsal scapular nerve. And option D was vagus nerve. Hello everyone. So are you a neat MDS aspirant and you are struggling to find all previous year authentic question? What if I tell you that you will get everything in just one book? My book is out on Amazon and Flipkart. Just check the video for description. It contains all the solutions along with the reason to rule out for your convenience. Get your hands on it today itself and take a significant step towards your success. Now first and foremost, hypoglossal nerve is the 12th cranial nerve and it supplies the dunk. Now if this nerve is damaged then it will lead to the speech difficulties right it will not uh, be related to shoulder dropping next is dorsal scapular nerve so this nerve supplies the scapula and basically rhomboid major and rhomboid minor is uh, supplied by this dorsal scapular nerve injury to this will lead to the improper positioning of the scapula but will uh, not uh, be associated with the dropping of the shoulder so again, these two things, they are ruled out. Now, vagus nerve. So vagus nerve is the 10th cranial nerve and basically it supplies the heart or lungs or the digestive tract and multiple things can happen if this nerve is affected, but primarily it is not related to the dropping of shoulder. The nerve which is responsible for the dropping of the shoulder is the spinal accessory nerve. Now, this spinal accessory nerve it supplies the sternocleidomastoid and it supplies the trapezius. If at all there is a uh, nerve injury in this nerve, then it will lead to the dropping of shoulder like this and patient will be unable to raise the hand uh, above then the, you can say, shoulder level. So, this nerve is affected in cases of surgery or in cases of trauma. If this spinal accessory nerve gets damaged, then it will lead to the dropping shoulder. Coming back to our question, the correct answer is spinal accessory nerve. I hope you like the class and you like the concept. Thank you.